Hey everyone, welcome to IndoorSkydivingTips.com. My name is Henry and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the push turns in your belly fly position. So we have our hands here and we learned about the rudder turns, but another way you can turn inside the tunnel is actually called the push turns. Turn. So this is how it looks. You're going to bring one of your arms down at about a 45 degree angle. The wind's going to hit your entire arm, thus turning you in this direction. So push this down, go this way, push down, go this way. So instead of just using your little hands, you're starting to use your entire arm as well. Now you can go for a more advanced turn by kind of angling both your arms into 45 degree turns. Some people call this the skydiver turns, but you can push the wind, manipulate it to turn your body, and of course you can do the opposite input to uh, stop yourself. Now, one of the biggest problems that I see people when they're trying to learn the push turns is actually they start swatting down. So they're trying to swat down this way or swat their hand and they're overextending it and not actually getting their arm in a position where it's actually going to turn their body. So remember, you don't want to swat down. You're in your arm flying position. Push that hand down. It's going to catch this part of your arm, turn you this way. Also another big problem just like with the belly turns is kind of squirming around. Now people often twist their body when they're trying to do this and it's going to cause some difficulty when and it's not going to look very good. It's probably not going to feel very good as well. Um, just like a lot of problems that I see with most flying positions, keeping a nice straight body is going to be really key. So if the hand turns aren't working for you, try the rudder turns. You can do more advanced turns where you're actually going to be really whipping around inside the tunnel. So big keys to success, keeping that 45 degree angle, keeping a nice straight body, and just staying really calm as you're trying to figure out the wind. Because at this point in your flying skills and your flying development, you're still trying to understand the wind. So if you remain calm and spend more time feeling the wind and feeling how it manipulates your arms and turns your body, then you're going to pick up this stuff a lot faster. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you can see more at IndoorSkydivingTips.com. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. See ya.